AI model can generate photo like this, or style like this, detail makeup of a witch that looks like movie. In this video, we are going to show you which AI model we are using and generate such detail image. Stay with us to play around with this AI model today. Uh, CivitAI.com have lots of amazing AI models for stable diffusion, and today, we are going to try out this SDXL model called RealVis XL. By looking at their showcase images here, it was shocked how detail it can create. Look at this close-up photo of an eye. Uh, it's just so amazing. And the face of a female. Look at the skin and how it can generate detail on the hair as well. Okay, an alien police. Pretty good, right? One thing it worth to mention is that the creator of this model are actually the one who create realistic vision in Stable Diffusion 1.5. Ha! Huh. No wonder this checkpoint model performance so well for realism images. Let's try it out. I have downloaded the model file into Automatic 11.11, and I am going to try out text prompts from their showcase. As you can see so many blur images, well, NSFW we can't show on YouTube. Alright, I find something interesting. Copy and paste this and generate. Oh, wow, look at that. I like the water flow. How amazing is that? I think mine is even better than the showcase in Civitai. Ha ha ha. But honestly, this is great checkpoint model. I have not used any LoRa to enhance the look at feel yet. I just set the sampling steps to 40 and there you go. Let's bring this image to upscale and see how far it can goes. And we are going to use 4x Ezergen and 4x Ultra Sharp. My goodness, this is amazing. Look at this. Well, the skin is still looks like an AI, but all leaves around the character and those hair dropping in and on the water. Nice. So far, so good. Okay, let's try a few more. This one is pretty good. Looks like a movie scene. Looks like the Netflix series, The Witcher. Let's try this prompt. Again, going for steps 40. And CFG7. Ah, actually it looks like the Viking and the witch preparing blood for their ritual. Nice. I think I can generate a bunch of images like this and create an animate video with this. How is that? I hope this video do inspire you by using realism checkpoint model like this in stable diffusion, uh, especially SDXL released and the quality of trained checkpoint models can go even further. So that is it for today video and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.